So here you can see that I got a bunch of data with expired date, name, category, and price. So what I want to do is I want to create a subtotal of all the data right here. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to sort this according to category because I want the subtotal according to the category. So I'm selecting this. I'm going to the sort button right here. So click on sort and I'm going to make sure I expand to the selection right here and press sort. So once I do that, you can see that I can sort by category and then by expiry. So I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'm going to press OK. So now it, did, uh, it sorted my uh, products according to, the, um, according to the category name and the expiry right here. And now what I want to do is I want a subtotal of all of these prices according to the category. So I'm going to select both of these data right here. In case, let's say, for example, your category is here, you press uh, you press control and then select the price just like this. In my case, I got them together, so I'm going to select both of them just like this. So I'm going to go into subtotal on my data column right here. So click on subtotal and here you see the price. So here you can use the function, as you can see, you can use to count, average and max the product. But in my case, I want subtotal, so I'm selecting sum right here. So I'm going to sum the prices and replace the current subtotals just like this and press OK. So once you do that, you can see that the gadget total actually appears over here. This is 529, games total is 594 and pots total is 5957. Um, and what this uh, did for me was it created a formula bar for me. So the grand total, as you can see here is this one. So it is a sum of all of the subtotals right there. So that is how we can create subtotals quite easily inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.